What is going on guys? I be Dylan. Uh, today I have an awesome video for you. Uh, this is for anyone who has been wondering how to have a video background or any motion background um, as their desktop background. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, this is obviously my desktop and as you can see it's animated. You can do anything just like normal. Um, it's just a video that plays in the background and it's very 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 simple how to do it uh, the only thing you'll need is a steam account because it is purchased from steam I believe it's 399 and for what you like what it offers that is perfect I mean that is so cheap so the first thing you need to do is just open up steam um, go to the store exit out of that type in wallpaper engine and you can see right here yeah it's 399 so it's worth it. I definitely recommend it. Look at that. Overwhelmingly positive. 16,000 reviews. You can't go wrong. So purchase that. And once you purchase it, uh, you're good to go. So once it's done downloading, you'll be greeted with this right here. Uh, so once it pops up, I don't know how many monitors you have. It does, um, it does allow multiple monitors. Um, I do have three monitors. So um, right now I have it just set you can set it to stretch monitors so it'll go from one to all or one to two or just however many you have um, but I just keep it on wallpaper per monitor because um, a lot of the wallpapers aren't optimized for triple monitor setups there are a few but not a lot of them so wallpaper per monitor and say I want to change my middle monitor just for demonstration purposes you can click change wallpaper it'll have uh, this will be like pretty much the main menu of the program um, you can see which monitor you're editing by monitor one and you can always go back to that by hit this little choose monitor button and it'll tell you which monitor you're editing so that number will change depending on which one for instance monitor two it'll say monitor two so we'll just go back to the center here all right so this is pretty much like I said the main menu and it'll come with pre-installed uh, themes that you can do or you can download your own from the marketplace the workshop which is pretty awesome so a lot of the ones that it comes with are kind of crummy uh, there's a few cool ones. I know this is one of them right here. Um, it's kind of cool. And this is a triple monitor um, one. It'll it'll actually stretch all the way across. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, you can change them out. This one's one. And you can change, like, you can actually edit the colors of everything itself. So it's really cool. Like, it actually comes with a bunch of different settings. And you can, like, edit the colors of stuff. And it just makes it really neat. There's some really cool ones you can download. There's actually like interactive ones. For instance, this is like a little sheep game. It's really weird. Um, I don't like it, but you know, you never know. So it's made with Unity. It powers up kind of like a game. <clears throat> and the cool thing about this program is, for instance, like if you have open, like if you're playing a Steam game and you have a motion background as your background, it will stop and just pause the the background at wherever it is whenever you make a program go full screen. To reduce your CPU from being overused, so it's pretty neat. So this is just a cool little program. That's really loud, probably, but you can like spawn in more sheep and just like place them all around. Have like little pet sheep, and that's just like one example. There's a bunch of different ones. This is in a in a 4K aquarium. So this one looks actually really neat when I have it on all three of my monitors. <clears throat> it looks like I'm looking just like a giant, giant uh, fish tank. So that's pretty cool. This one's pretty neat. <clears throat> one that looks really good on triple monitors is Techno one. This one actually does go across all three and it looks pretty nice. And you can edit the colors and all that. So say if you want it to be like green and purple, just some random colors, you can change all that. Um, another really cool one is let's see, what's what's another good one? This one's this one's pretty neat. Um, has like a really weird message when it pops up. So. Might be like hacking my computer or whatnot, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. This one's like really interactive. <clears throat> I think it's all right though, because it's one of the top uh, wallpapers, so I don't think it's gonna hurt your computer or whatever. But it's literally like so interactive. Like you can literally like you can like build whatever you want on this little planet, and it just stays as your background. And over here is like all your tools and like if you want to add just like a little patch of something, you can like add ice and all this weird stuff i don't know it's really weird but it's kind of cool at the same time so or there's other interactive ones this is a cat one for example uh the cat will just kind of like follow around 
the little ball of yarn. That's pretty neat. Um, another cool thing you can do is you can go to the workshop and this is where you can download a lot of them. And granted, uh, most of them are anime. As you can see here, just from the front page, uh, all the top rated, like a ton of anime. But you'll find some cool ones in here. Um, I spent a couple hours on this just like looking through them. It's really fun. Um, just to check them out and see. So, just go through. You can like type in, like, for instance, if you just want to look up space, it'll pop up like all the space stuff. There's some cool ones in here. But yeah, you just gotta find what you like. And there's actually like sound active ones, like sound reactive. So for instance, like this one right here. This one's sound reactive. So if I go to Pandora here, hang on, let me open up Pandora. I'm just gonna play a few seconds of it so I don't get copyright strike. <clears throat> uh, let me crank it up so it'll... But yeah, so yeah, it's pretty cool and it does it to like anything Even like any sound on your computer. It doesn't have to be just music and you can actually change the color of that just like um, In the other one. So if you wanted it to be like a red theme instead of That uh, blue scion look you can change it to red if you want and then it'll like glow red. It's really neat. So There's a ton of them <clears throat> and one of the coolest things you can do <clears throat> is you can actually like add your own background so say you have like a really sick like wallpaper or gif that you've made that's like animated you can actually just select the image or the movie and it'll play it by itself in the background so that's really neat so just a quick example of this i was testing out the other day uh, i play a lot of league of legends and i just selected one of my league videos <laughs> it's pretty neat so this is like a league of legends video that i recorded uh, not too long ago and you can see it's my desktop background so and it's really neat and you can like zoom in on it and like you can select the playback rate like you can make it fast forward and just an example like if I have it to where it stretches across all my monitors you can't see it right now but it just stretched across all my monitors and you can actually like position it like obviously since it's stretching the 10 1920 by 1080 picture um, it's going to stretch it out make it really blurry and all that so you got to find like 4k videos um, And a good example of that would be hang on let me go back to wall wallpaper per monitor um, <clears throat> A good example of that would be like these like an 8k right here. This one is really good for like my triple monitors So like you can see how clear it's gonna be on the one screen I mean, look how beautiful that is. And it's like, you can have this going across all of your monitors at the same time. Uh, it's really weird on the top there. This one's probably one of my favorite ones though. Oh yeah, here's another thing as well. Some of them have music um, and it just plays music in the background on your desktop, which I personally don't like that, but it's kind of cool at the same time. I mean, it's just really neat to have that as your background though. It looks like a screensaver. But yeah, you can just mute the music if you want. Uh, you can center it, stretch it, do whatever you want. You can change the playback. There's all kinds of settings you can do. It's pretty much endless. So yeah, guys, this is just a quick video on how to have motion background. Um, and to use your own, you just hit open from file right here. I guess I should have explained that a little better. Um, it doesn't just pop up in here. It will pop up in this little thing after you upload it. But once you select it off your PC, it'll just always be here. Um, so yeah, guys, if you like the video... Uh, Feel free to subscribe, don't forget to leave a like, comment if you want to see some more how-to videos in the future, and uh, thank you guys for watching.